Many cities in Asia have been competing over the years to improve and see which one is the most technologically advanced. As we know, this region has always been known to have some of the most amazing advances in lifestyle. So, when the first rumors emerged about Japan's upcoming aircraft, most countries were not surprised. But what are these projects all about? Are they a new breakthrough that will make people's lives easier? Or is it a structure designed to improve the quality of life for those who can afford it? Believe it or not, Japan's planes have to do with both questions. So if you are into technology and those wonders that are usually created in Japan, then we recommend that you stay and enjoy the article. You're sure to like the project that the nation is starting to develop. As you know, Japanese culture tends to focus a lot on technology and its use in everyday life. For years, the nation has seen advances in science as the best way to earn income for the country and provide new jobs for its people. As a result, the changes that some of its cities have undergone and continue to undergo often provoke equal parts admiration and surprise. Their projects are often loaded with a dose of creativity, along with a good deal of engineering and inventiveness. They are ambitious in the best sense of the word, which is why the news that they want to build a city in a certain uninhabited area of Tokyo Bay sounds so strong that many were already expecting a Japanese government to carry it out. That's right, they are not the first to think of this marvel that combines high technology and sustainability, but they are the ones who have started to develop a plan to make this wish come true. As we have already seen in several futuristic films and series, some areas that make up Tokyo Bay are land that is made up of pieces of land that have been reclaimed from the sea. This is no exception, and in an effort to take advantage of these tracks, the government has decided to put its planes to work. To that end, the capital's deputy governor, Manabu Miyasaka, decided to launch what has been called one of the most challenging projects in recent years, and begins plans for such a futuristic city to become a reality. Called Tokyo Bay ESG Project 1, the aim of its creators is to boost international competitiveness by creating a sustainable city. It also seeks the adoption of cutting-edge digital technologies within the precinct. Quote, Tokyo expanded by creating land reclaimed from the sea, and that's a big advantage for us, Miyasaka said in an interview. No one lives on the land we plan to use, so we can start from scratch, rather than disrupting people's daily lives, he added. Now that we know what they're looking to do in that stretch of Tokyo Bay, it is worth noting that the parcel of land earmarked for the project is 1,000 hectares, or 2,470 acres, and of that, one-fifth of the development has already been completed so far. Although that area was used for the canoeing and rowing competitions held during the Tokyo 2022 Olympics, today it only stores some garbage containment plants, which the government is considering moving to other locations. Miyasaka and his team have started sending out invitations for companies to run pilot programs that provide solutions to the challenges facing their major cities. This is in order to attract a certain number of companies to provide new technological solutions that will help with traffic reduction, greenhouse gas emissions, clean energy generation, and other issues. Why do that? Because the government wants the quality of life in their cities to increase by mid-October. It is because of that that they have decided to inject up to 30 million yen, or $7.3 million in funding. While their goals are valid and worthy of note, such improvements aimed at generating clean energy and purifying water, air, and soil are sure to generate significant expense in the years to come. That is why the City by the Bay project is so important, as this site would have all of these tools and more from its conception. Now that we finally have a broader view of the panoramic project underway in Tokyo Bay, many are sure to wonder how long it will take the country to accomplish such a great feat, as well as other facts that remain to be done with the construction of this revolutionary city. Are you ready to know more about it? Let's continue with the video. Quote, Technology is moving from being used in the purely digital world to being brought into physical spaces, Miyasaka said. Cities will strive to become places that develop these new technologies, and the project could become a model for other urban centers, he added. The Tokyo Bay ESG project will begin its respective trials next year, the city government said. However, August was the last month given for various companies, organizations, and institutions to register as project partners. Who took advantage of the offer? 55 named corporations, including Sumitomo, Reality and Development Co., Toyota Motor Corp., NTT Urban Solutions Inc., NEC Corp., Konami Group Corp., and Asahi Holdings Corp. 
Thanks to his previous experience at Yahoo Japan and the fact that he has been running his own company for several years, Vice Governor Manabu Miyasaka has the know-how to bring more developments to the city and surrounding areas. That confidence is what has led to several companies committing to participate in the development of the Tokyo Bay Area, whether it's financing office buildings and flats or installing a full football stadium. Of course, the success of this project came from the speed with which Japan can move to get the measurements and implement new technologies. Some experts have suggested the creation of a state development agency, as was done in London at the time. Quote, the challenge is to build a city that is strong in the face of the crises we face, Miyasaka said. Whether it's infectious disease, climate change, or energy supply. As we have seen over the years, Japan is a country that relies heavily on technological advances. While this may initially sound like a good thing and an example for many nations to follow, others have suggested that the country could be in trouble in the future if it bases its progress solely on technology. This is because of the energy crises that are beginning to be felt around the world and the problems that have resulted from armed conflict and the pandemic itself. While it is true that technology has become a mainstay for most people, it must be borne in mind that the over-exploitation in one sector almost always leads to instability in other branches. Therefore, if the Japanese government wants to follow the path of progress, it cannot neglect areas such as agriculture, medicine, and others. Likewise, they must begin to implement action plans in case of energy failures and other problems that often arise from crises in the sector. And that concludes the video of the day. From what we could see in the ambitious project that the people and the government of Japan want to carry out, Tokyo Bay will become one of the most attractive places for tourists, as well as one of the most futuristic options for inhabitants of the region to enjoy. This will undoubtedly benefit many within its construction and subsequent management. However, questions remain. What will happen to the residents surrounding the construction site? Will they also enjoy the popularity that the city is sure to gain, or will the sites be lost to the project? Leave your thoughts on the topic in the comments box, and feel free to add suggestions for future videos as well. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and give us your thumbs up so that the site keeps recommending our content to you. See you next time.